Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today is part one of my three-part Japan haul. My luggage was overweight. I had to split this haul up into three parts and even though I'm splitting everything into three parts, this haul today is going to be a long one. So grab a snack, grab a drink. I have my green tea here with me. We're gonna need it. So for today's video, part one, I'm gonna show you all the beauty items I got, clothing, and the gifts I received while I was on my trip. And then part two is going to be all the cute things, Sanrio, Miffy, stationery, snacks that will be in part two tomorrow. And the day after that is part three, which is all the gifts that I got for friends and family. So with that being said, we have a lot to get through today. I'm excited to share everything with you. Let's go ahead and get started with the haul. All right. Alright, let's get started. I want to start off with the beauty items first because this is a makeup channel, only makes sense to. I do want to note that I did do a whole video on Cosme, which is pretty much like Japan Sephora. So I did a whole video on that where I shared the products that I purchased from there. And I will say for the most part, I got a lot of my beauty items from Cosme. So I'll have that video linked up in the cards and also down below in the description. So all of the makeup items I'm showing today in today's haul are products that I got from drugstores or Don Quixote. It's just from other places that wasn't at Cosme, but honestly, a lot of these things you could possibly get at Cosme as well. I just sort of wanted to like separate it a little bit make it easier for myself to film so with that being said let's start off with a beauty i'm just gonna take out the biggest items out of the bag first because this took up a lot of weight but of course i had to get it the Anne honey shampoo and conditioner they have a few different colors for different hair type and i got the pink the peach just because it was in peach but it is the moist repair shampoo and treatment i feel like my hair definitely needs that and i cannot wait to start using this because it's high Highly ranked, highly recommended. If you are on Japan Beauty TikTok, I'm pretty sure you have seen these and this has been recommended to you many, many times. I feel like this is the top product to get while you're in Japan. And then of course I had to get the hair oil, the matching hair oil. This was actually just sold at my 7-Eleven across my hotel so this is like everywhere in japan it's highly ranked the next product is also another very highly recommended product it is the pheno hair mask i got two in this pack because you could get a free kuromi sticker and i was like i already had two in my cart and i'm like i might as well put these two back get it in this and get the Kuromi sticker. It only makes sense to do that, right? So yeah, I got two. I don't know if I'm gonna keep both for myself. If I really love it, then I'll keep both for myself, but I might give one away to a friend or family. I feel like this hair mask and the Anne Honey is like top products that people are telling you to buy from Japan. These products are also popular as well. It's the collagen powder. So my friend Joy actually takes this and we do sell it here in New Zealand, but it's overpriced. I believe it's about $50 New Zealand and I got it for 20 New Zealand dollars. So there's like a $30 difference um, So it's definitely worth bringing back and honestly, it's not too heavy So I did get my friend Joy some and I wanted to try it out for myself as well So this is more like inner beauty and I haven't tried a lot of collagen powder But I did get gifted some and that had like a really fishy taste But Joy said that this one doesn't so I'm excited to try this out I got two packs and then while I was there I just saw that they had these like collagen jelly things so I was like to Joy like you want some as well and she's like yeah and I'm like okay I'll get some for us I got these for her too but have not tried it yet probably have one today maybe now that I've filmed this haul but this one is just like the collagen brand and then this one is like a mango flavor from maybe a different brand but yeah got these two collagen because I feel like the older I get I'm like retinol collagen I need it. Another popular product is this Momo Re Peach Hair Cream. I feel like this is highly recommended as well. I love anything peach scented. The packaging is really cute. So a lot of hair products. I feel like I really focused on hair. Actually, no, I did get a lot of makeup and stuff as well. But you know, I feel like hair, usually I don't really fuss so much over. I don't really use much on my hair. But I feel like this trip, I was like, yeah, 
we're going into hair care now. Okay, this one is another popular brand. I saw a girl on TikTok talk really highly about this new product because it's like a whole new technology or something. But I think this brand is highly rated as well. It's one by Cosé. So this is their new Serum Shield Hydrating Balm. I got the mini one for my parents because I'm not sure if they're going to like it or if they'll use it. And this stuff wasn't the cheapest thing. So I'm like, I don't want to get them a full size and they don't end up using it. So I got them the mini. I got myself the full size apparently it's really good for fine line and wrinkles and i do have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and honestly i've been so insecure about my eye bags guys my eye bags okay they've always been there they've always just shown through my concealer but after this travel and me coming back i've been so so busy and just Oh, there's just so many things going on guys. It's not like me just coming back to YouTube and filming. It's like my family business. It's like secret projects that's coming up. Like it's just a lot of things all at once. And yeah, I'm like overwhelmed not getting the best sleep, hence the eye bags. So I'm hoping this will help with my fine lines. But I did get a popular eye cream. Well, I think it's popular. I saw again another girl on TikTok. She recommended it. And guys, if you get the eSIM while you're in Japan, your TikTok will change into Japan TikTok. You will see Japanese creators, people in Japan. You will not see foreigners. Like I did not see any New Zealand creators, US creators. It was just like Japan TikTok. And there was this girl, Um, she recommended this eye cream apparently it's supposed to help brighten up the darkness and I'm like say no more this is targeted to me so I picked this one up I don't think it was too expensive either because eye creams can usually be quite pricey but I feel like the eye creams there there's a lot of good cheap ones that are highly ranked this one's also highly ranked as well and then I picked up some contact lenses I've always wanted to try Japanese contact lenses I remember when I was young you know the really big circle lenses that was from Japan and I feel like when I started wearing contacts I was really into more Korean style contact lenses and I feel like there is a difference and I really want to try it. I saw this brand and the reason why I got it is because Sakura from Le Seraphim, she was like the model, the ambassador, the face, like she was promoting it so I was like okay I'm influenced whenever I see like a k-pop idol be an ambassador it actually does really influence me especially if I like the idol so I got the ones that she was wearing and then I got another one that I just like the style of I'm gonna do a whole tiktok video on these I'm gonna be doing a lot of tiktok smaller content on a lot of these products follow me there if you are not already uh, but yeah I got these um these are Mola and then I got this product for my bangs and I probably should have used this while I was there because guys the humidity in Tokyo was insane as soon as I would step out, my bangs, oily. This product is sort of like blotting paper, but for your bangs. You get two and you swipe it like this to get rid of the oil. I'm going to put this in my handbag. I got to test this out because, girl, I'm still figuring out these little bangs, these little wispy bangs. But anyway, on to the next product. So this is an eraser for the heel. And I have really dry feet, like for real dry feet. It's low-key embarrassing. And no matter what I do, it'll be moisturized and then the dryness will come back like the next day. So I have extremely, extremely dry feet. And the reason why I got this is because there was only one left on the rack. And I'm like, there must be a reason why there's only one left. Why would there only be one left? You know, there's always people restocking the counters and everything. Like, why was there only one left? So I'm like, it's, it's got to be good. You need to tell me much to convince me. If you tell me that it works for you, I'll be like, okay, I'll take your word. This is also another hair product. Um, this one's pretty popular too. A lot of people recommend it. There's like three different versions. I just got the original. I think it's like a stick. <laughs> See, this is another thing. People could influence me, but I don't even know what it's for. If it's popular, I'm like, yeah, I'll try it. So I believe it's like a stick balm thing that you can use to stick down flyaways. If it's popular, I'll get it. I'll try it. I just want to be part of the conversation, really. For me, scent brings back a memory, and this whole solo trip was very special to me. It's my first solo trip, and just everything, like everything about this trip was just special. So I really wanted to get like a perfume that I would be spraying there, so every time I smell that, perfume it would take me back to this moment. Le Labo does have city exclusive scents and I've never had a perfume from Le Labo. Honestly a lot of their scents to me smell very strong and like just not my vibe. I'm very like more light and fruity. A lot of their perfumes are very like strong and like 
musky. So I went to the Labo to smell their Tokyo exclusive scent and I wasn't sure if I was going to love it just because I haven't really loved anything else from them. But when I went in, I was like, wow, this smells actually really good. It's the Gaiac 10, but it does cost an arm and a leg, guys. Like this tiny little 15 ml perfume, tell me why it's pretty much the same price as my Chanel number no. 5 50 ml that I did pick up at Duty Free. So I'm talking back and forth between perfumes, but the Chanel number no. 5 I got at Duty Free because I finished my current bottle and Chanel number no. 5 to me is my signature scent. It's my favorite scent ever. It smells like baby powder, but I don't care. Every time I spray this, I just like, yeah, this is me. This is what I love. This is my favorite favorite scent. If I'm gonna get this expensive perfume, I might as well get it at Duty free where I can get somewhat of a discount on so I did get it this hurt more because this is low-key pretty much the same price and like why is it so expensive is it because it's like city exclusive I don't know but it was a lot you can customize the label so it says in Tokyo it says the date it says my name on it so like every time I look at this perfume like it's very sentimental to me and every time I smell this perfume it will take me back to my solo trip and even me smelling it now like it already takes me back and I've only been back home for a week and I'm like this takes me back to Japan okay I was like feeling a little regretful getting it because I would spray it and then I could not smell it anymore because with the Chanel number no. 5 I don't think it lasts that long but at least I can still smell it on my clothes if I like bring it up to my nose but I was like bringing this up to my nose and I'm like did it just fade? Did my $5 daily spray just evaporate into the air? Because I cannot smell this anymore. But tell me why. People around me could smell it. It is definitely my most complimented perfume. And when I say most complimented, like two people. Two people, two people complimented me on it. So what I realized is that I can't smell it throughout the day, but it's still quite strong for other people to smell. It's at least like, even if I can't smell it, at least I still smell good to others. You know what I mean? I do like collecting things. I really do have a collector's mindset. And one of my latest collections are mini perfumes. And the thing with mini perfumes is that not a lot of brands have them. Um, they usually just give it to you in the travel size. It's not like the actual miniature perfume size bottle. So it's hard to find and right now I only have four mini perfumes So when I saw it duty free they had some mini perfumes I'm like you know what this is a collection that I don't need to have So if I can get a discount on it that would be great So I got the YSL Mon Paris mini perfume set It comes with three different perfumes but one of them is like a double It's just one of those things that brings me joy and if I could get a discount I got a discount, so there we go. That's what I got at Duty Free. And also at Duty Free, okay, this was like early in the morning. I was like, this is the start of my trip. I haven't spent any money yet. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like, yeah, girl, you deserve this trip. You deserve to, you know, enjoy the fruits of your labor. You've gone through a lot this year. So these are from Savorsky, and I had my eyes on these for a while. I even saw these in store. I want a lot more silver jewelry because I don't have a lot of silver. You guys know I'm a gold gal, but you know, you know, I've been dabbling into silver a little bit and tell me this box is so cute the pink box But this is the earring. It is in a heart shape I guess if you're looking me forward, it would just look like a hoop but on the side It's like a heart shape I just thought it was so pretty and again if I could get it duty-free so that was the beauty section again I did shop a lot of makeup and other skincare hair care things at Cosme So I'll have that video in the cards in the description But we are gonna move into the next category which is clothing now when it comes to clothing I did still get a lot okay I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I didn't get a lot but going into this trip I thought I was gonna get more clothing than what I did I've seen so many cute hauls and thrifting I thought I was gonna be a thrifting queen after this but unfortunately no I've come to realize thrifting is not for me but yeah I think I didn't really explore a lot of clothing stores I think I was more so focused on my content and also beauty products the main store that I purchased things from was Uniqlo and GU we don't have a Uniqlo here in New Zealand maybe that's why I kind of splurge I went a little crazy but I will say I feel like they were just more so in 
my price range and I definitely want to get more closet staples. So with enough yip yapping, uh, let me show you what I got from Uniqlo. The first are these plaid lounge pants. So my friend Joy, she requested for these so I did get her one and while I was there she's like are you going to get one too? I'm like you know what I might because it's quite cute. And I can confirm they are very comfy because I wore these on my flight back home. They do look like pajama pants but apparently on Little Red you know they're like lounge pants so you can wear them out and I did wear it at the airport and they were very very comfy and I actually really do like them. This was probably the best colorway they had. I think it was about 20 New Zealand dollars. Let's move on to some undies and bras that I got from Uniqlo because I feel like when you go Uniqlo, you just gotta go to the bra and undie section. The first one I got is like sort of like a sports bra looking one. I'm not gonna try these on because it's a little bit intimate. It's like very comfy. I wore this one on my flight back home. Um, no wires, just a little bit of padding for some structure and shape, but I really, really like it. And I got this in a medium because the girls in Asia are smaller than me, so I'm uh, like a medium or large there, honestly. But then I also got just like a normal standard bra. This one also doesn't have the wire, so it's still very comfy. I mean, I don't know. I haven't tried this one on yet. One of like a normal bra. I do prefer like bras like this. And honestly, I didn't try it on, but I'm sure it's gonna fit. You know, like I'm just like, you know what? That looks, that looks right. Let's get this. And then I got a sports bra. So it's quite similar to this bra, but it's a little bit longer and the material is a little bit different. Um, they did have matching leggings as well, but I just got the bra because I need more sports bra. And I have not done any physical activities since I got them back. I haven't gone back to Pilates or to the treadmill. The next item, I feel like they're pushing this one quite a lot, honestly. And I have something very similar that I wear all the time. I have it in mint green and I wore it all winter long, like literally. So I was like, I am gonna love this. So it is just like a fluffy jacket. I got it in a large just because I wanted a little bit oversized, but honestly, it's probably not gonna be that oversized on me. This was about 30 New Zealand dollars. I was like, that's really good. And I know since I already have something like this at home, I know I'm gonna wear it a lot. So my cost per wear, girl math, it's going to work out. And then of course with Nina Glow, everyone knows of their collab tees. And I don't know if it was just like Japan, but they had a lot of their archived shirts come back. So I got a few. The first one is really cute. So it kind of looks like it's just a striped t-shirt, but no, it's not a striped t-shirt. It is Luffy going gomu gomu no. And these are about 15 New Zealand dollars, which is so good considering the print and the quality of their shirts. I really do like it and I just love a good baggy tee. Um, so yeah, I got another baggy tee and I did wear this already on my trip, but it's the Kors collection. And then I got one more item from the Kors collection for myself. I got this sweater. This one is about $30. And I got it in a medium in the white, so you just have him like peeping out and then it's like party print on the back. So I thought it was really cute too. I just love cozy, oversized t-shirts, sweatshirts, just that's what I'm wearing. I went to GU since like GU is just like the level above. I believe GU is like the sister brand of Uniqlo. And I actually liked the style of clothing from GU more. I feel like Uniqlo has a lot of good basics, but then for like style and like actually going out clothes, I feel like GU had a lot of great things. And their pricing was so good guys because this, tweed cardigan like it is so nice like it's pretty thick it's like you know really warm honestly this was only 30 new zealand dollars i feel like something tweed like this would be in the hundreds i had to get it in a medium just because the size small was sold out they also had it in a navy which was really pretty too but i feel like i would just wear cream a lot more so this one was so so cute probably one of my favorite deals that i got i also got these cargo pants from gu as well and these were also around 30 dollars i have two pair of cargo pants a black and green and i love them i feel so swaggy in them but the cargo pants i got them in new zealand and they were about $60 so like double the price and I feel like this is such a better quality because it's double lined So even though it's like a creamy white, it won't be see-through. It just feels good. You know like you can just 
feel it like this is good quality so i knew i was looking for like a smaller crossbody white bag and i got it at gu i think this would have been about 20 dollars. i already cut the tag off but i think it's about 20 dollars. this is just the perfect size it's not overwhelming but it will fit everything and trust me i was carrying a lot and you can wear it as a shoulder bag you can wear it as a crossbody it is adjustable straps um and because the strap is a bit thicker i feel like even though it's on your shoulder like your shoulders are bound to get sore but it doesn't get as sore because it's a thicker strap so this one was really great too it has space to hook on your keychains i know everyone loves uniqlo i love uniqlo but yeah maybe check out gu guys because i really really like this stuff and i wish i would have spent more time there and then I have a few more items. These are from other places. So I went to WeGo. And I remember the last two times I went to Japan, me and Harry, we loved WeGo. But I feel like this time I didn't really see them have many clothing that I really liked. But I did pick up this one top. This was also around $30. As you can tell, like I have a budget when it comes to clothing, like $30. Unless I really, really love it, then I would splurge, but like, yeah, <laughs> $30 is like my max. So this is like a simple white long sleeve t-shirt, but up close, it's a little see-through and it has like flower print all over it. I don't know why it was giving me Jenny black like pink vibes. And then my friend Ren, she recommended me to go to Closet Child in Harajuku, which is a secondhand clothing store. First top I got, it's a little bit cropped, it has the plaid pattern on it but what really sold me was this detail here it looks like the buttons that you would see on depals and i just love that i love a little bit of tradition into modern day clothing that's what i love but that pattern like literally sold me so these were a little bit more expensive i think um i got two items and it probably was about 80 dollars. so maybe this was 30 maybe the dress i got was 50. the other item that i got was this cottage core pink dress and in the store i was really contemplating about this one it was giving lace made and you guys know i love lace made i have so many dresses from lace made and a dress like this on lace made would have been like 150 probably this was about i think 50 dollars and the quality is really good like it's double lined it's very fluffy has a lot of weight to it it was just like this ribbon for me like i wasn't sure like it wasn't too much and i did try it on and it's like i don't know if it's like the most flattering thing yeah that was pretty much the clothing that i got but i did get one hoodie from Disneyland so in New Zealand obviously if you're a Disney fan there is no Disneyland Disney World in New Zealand and Australia like nothing down here okay and I know really nothing about Disneyland Disney World I don't know the difference between the two but I guess from like an outside perspective I always thought like Disney would be like really expensive like a lot of the merch would be expensive but maybe it's just in Tokyo I don't know this was really really good price okay so this is like a really thick hoodie like this the hood is very thick everything about this is like good if i was to guess how much this would be i would say like 120 like 120 it was 50 dollars 50 new zealand dollars how good is that like even like youtubers merch is not 50 dollars quality on this is like low-key better than a lot of the youtuber merches i have bought and i wore this on my flight back from tokyo so i wore this the plaid pants and my uniqlo bra and i was I was comfy. So that was all of the clothing items. I got some socks. Like, do you guys want to see the socks that I got? I'll just show you anyway since we're here, okay. So I went to Shibuya 109. I feel like if you're in Tokyo, you're probably gonna, you know, go there and check it out. So I got some really cute socks from a store there. The first one are these with black ribbon and pearls. So they have the same style in a lot of colorways, but I just ended up getting this one. Haven't worn this one yet, as you can tell, but I did wear this one, which I lost the other pair. So I'm like... Did I leave it in my hotel room or is it going to magically show up in my washing? We'll find out. But I got this one that just has the white bow. Again, it has it in different color variations and the ruffle on the top. And then I got these pink ones. Um, so it has the double bow in the front. Very cute too. Oh, I also did get these socks from Uniqlo. Just some creamy ruffled socks. Got these miffy ones in the cream color, which is really cute. And I got these fluffy white ones that I have worn and they're like low-key a little dirty. Uh, so I probably should just throw them over there and put them in the washing. But I guess to wrap up on the clothing section, I went to Paris Kids in Harajuku again. If you enter from like the train station entrance, 
you will see Paris Kids. It's like literally right there and I recommend you going in. They have a lot of cute accessories. I know everyone is all about their ribbons and I've always loved ribbons. They have a lot there. I got these mini pink ribbons. I've been looking for like really tiny ones um, that has like this kind of clip on the back, the middle clip. So I got these. I mean, now I'm looking at it, like $5. That's pretty expensive. Um, but yeah, I got these two. I got this one. It reminds me of car captors, like the little wings. Um, so yeah, I thought I could do a makeup look based around that. I got two of these longer clip ribbons. So in black because that would just go with everything. I love the like the longer strap. And then I got these minty ones because yeah, like secret project, you know, it's like the color theme. Like <laughs> And then I got this one here, which is like on a hair tie. And this one was low-key, not a scam, but like low-key a scam. Because they literally just tied a ribbon onto a hair tie. And I don't know why I didn't realize that. Like they put a little bit of a glue on it, but I got one in white and the ribbon like fell apart. And I was like, okay, I could have just DIY this literally myself. Like these ones, it's like, okay, you know, it's on like a metal cool clip, but this is like a hair tie and just ribbon. And it's not even glued on properly. But anyway. Um, and then the last one I got are these green ribbon as well. Because I'm like, again, color theme. And lastly, from Paris Kids, I got this set of earrings. These little studs. So the first one is just like a silver ribbon. And then a little diamond earring here. Again, I do want to dabble into more silver. So that's what I got. I was trying to find more like rings. Because I want to have like a ring set. You know, I want to be that girl when you're talking. And she just has a lot of rings on her hand and she looks really cool. I just couldn't really find any rings that I really, really liked because my mindset while I was shopping in Japan, I was like, is it cute because I'm here or is it actually cute and I'm going to use it when I'm home? Because I feel like, you know, when you just go to Japan, it's so different from what you have at home and you're just like, oh, it's so cute. But it's like, is it though? Like, would you actually use this? So I really thought about that while I was there. Essentially, that was everything beauty and clothing wise I got for myself while I was on my trip. However, for the last section, I want to share some gifts that I received while I was there. I met up with a few friends and apparently my friends, their love language is gift giving because they really gifted me some really cute things that I want to just share with you and just say thank you to them. So I have two Joys that I talk about a lot. So Joy that lives in New Zealand. I've known her since high school. And then I have another Joy from the US. She did some graphic work for me a few years back. We just got really close. We have a YouTube channel together that we don't upload on, but we have a channel together and our trip just aligned. We got to meet in person. We video call all the time for hours and hours. It was so nice meeting her and her boyfriend Matt and his family. So with that being said, I did request a few things from her from the US to bring to me in Japan. So I got the Baggyu and Sandy Liang bag. She also got it as well. So she was kind enough to actually purchase two on the chaotic day of a lawn. And then she gave it to me while we were in Japan. And it's so cute with the ribbons. It's like a really simple bag. It's a very tiny bag. I mean, like, will this fit over my shoulder? It kind of does, but like, it's a little tight. But regardless, I think it's very cute. I also requested for these two Fenty lip glosses because Fenty in New Zealand, guys, like everything is sold out. So I got the Gloss Bomb Cream and Gloss Bomb Heat. I think like a K-pop idol wears this or something. I already forgot. But I'm going to be doing a TikTok video on these. I just really wanted them. So there is that. And then she also got me a lot of US snacks. So the first one is candy corn, butterfingers, this one is pillows, ube filled crackers, M&M's and crunchy cookie. We also have Cheetos that are extra flaming hot. I know I'm gonna love this. And then this one is munchies, um, flaming hot. So it's like a mix of different chips, I believe. And then of course, Tuckies, my favorite. I absolutely love these. And the thing with Joy is, is that she is a photo card collector. I don't care for photo cards. I do care for albums, but I don't care for photo cards. So um, XG was having a exclusive photo card at Tower Records and she got two albums and she was really insisting on me keeping one, but I was like, no girl, you cannot just like buy an album for the photo card. Like, let me pay you for this. And she's like, no, just take it. I'm like, okay. Like, you know when people keep on Consisting. I feel like it's more rude to keep saying no, so you should just say yes. That's how I personally feel. So I was like, okay, okay, fine, but I'm gonna shout you food. So she ended up giving me one of the XG albums. I picked this one because I just really like the styling of it, and I love XG as well. So thank you, Joy, 
for the album as well and honestly just thank you to her in general because we stayed at the same hotel and on my last day they were gonna help me take all my luggage to the train station up the stairs and everything but I ended up taking a taxi just because it was too heavy but they were really really helpful and I felt the love like they were like sending me goodbye and just they were just so nice and it was just so lovely to meet them and the next gifts are from Ren I've always referenced her as Jean as my subscriber who has sent me a lot of Japanese products that I've shared before on the channel um, but she also has a YouTube channel as well which I'll link down below but she goes by Ren anyway we're gonna reference her as Ren but Ren and Jean is the same person I met up with her she took the time out of her busy schedule to hang out with me we went to team lab we went to Sanrio Pearland we got our nails done together she paid for my nails too but not only that she got me a lot of gifts okay she if gift giving is not her love language I don't know what is from this trip alone I came back home with six new bag I don't need any more and she gave me three of them so the first one is this really cute heart shaped puffy creamy heart bag it is the cutest thing ever I feel like it's a simple bag that would just go with everything like with this outfit on today so cute and then we have another heart bag she also has the same one so we are matching this one's like more of like a little clutch so I'll probably hold it more like this <gasps> This would be so cute. Hang on, I got an outfit idea. Okay, this hot bag with my ribbons and then with my favorite top from Closet Child. Is that not a vibe? It's giving Lolita. Okay, I'm gonna do a whole outfit on that. So thank you so much, Ren. It's so cute and I love that we are matching. But girl, this last bag, like, I was not expecting a Vivian Westwood bag to be in the gift bag that she gifted me. This is the cutest bag ever. So iconic. It's so Vivian and it's like a nice pop of color. And I actually think with my outfit today, like this is, this is quite cute. Really ran girl, like no more gifts, okay? No more gifts. But then she also gifted me this Barbie fluffy pom-pom pen and also the Roman Karomi palette, which I'm excited to use as well. And then lastly, I got a cinnamon roll satin makeup pouch which is so cute so thank you so much Ren for spoiling me on this trip and just hanging out with me I wish we had more time to hang but there will always be next time thank you thank you thank you but all right the last gifts and from the last set of friends that I met up with and tell me why I got no photos with them I got no footage with them when I met them I just met them and we were just talking I did not even think to bring out my phone to capture this moment because I've known them for so long it's Ruth and her boyfriend honestly I should have asked how to properly say his name I'm just not the best with pronunciation I would say it Dion, such a bad friend. But they got me some gifts as well. So the first one is from Zara Home. I had no idea Zara had a home section, but this is their wardrobe scented bars and it smells so good. Like these are very, very strong. So this is kind of what it looks like. Just like little bars you would hang in your closet, I guess. And I feel like I really do need this because girl with five cats at my house, it doesn't smell the best. They also got me the cutest soy sauce tray so it's like a little tray with a cat on it but when you pour the soy sauce in it looks like a little sort of black cat which is really cute so i love that and then they also got me some really nice pens okay i wish i got more pens and when i go back i'm gonna get more of this this brand the keze lame pen she got it in the cutest pink color it's like a gel pen but the thing is there's like an eraser on the top and the eraser is really good. Like I've used pens that are like, you know, you can write in pen, you can erase it out, but it doesn't work as well. This one works really great and it's so cute. I've been using this for my Sudoku and it's been the best. And then they got me these two Inkia pens, which I have yet to use, but I know it's going to be great because Dyong, he's actually like a, I don't know what the actual job description name would be, but he does like a lot of fonts and he's iconic so i just know that these pens would be great and she's also a graphic designer they're just like a power couple and they're just like iconic and i just i know these pens are gonna be great but also uh one last thing Rand did gifted me another can make eyeliner i think this is like a new shade um and she's the one that got me on to the whole creamy touch eyeliner so that was from Rand. so those were all of the lovely gifts from the friends that i got to meet in person finally it's so crazy that you know Every friend that I met in Japan is through my YouTube. I got to know all of them 
through my channel like if I did not have my channel like I would not know anyone um, so it's just crazy how much YouTube has changed my life truly and just meeting them in person after knowing them for so long like I've known Ruth and Joy for many many years like four plus years probably so it's just nice to finally meet them in person and like in Japan out of all places so thank you so much to my lovely friend and just spending time with me taking care of me like truly love you guys but that does conclude today's haul part one i know that was a lot i mean me right now i just filmed the speaking portion i need to go and film the try on the b-roll and everything of all the products which is probably gonna take me like a whole nother day but i hope you guys enjoyed today's haul i'll try to link what i can but overall i hope you did enjoy today's video if you did if you could give the video a thumbs up for me i would appreciate it so much it really does help me and my channel out a lot come back for tomorrow for part two for all the cute sanrio miffy stationary snack thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye